depending on what you're currently in the mood for with a film, The Christmas Doodle might be one that's worth watching. It feels like a personal project filmed on a budget for an amateur filmmaker. And if that's the case, it's pretty decent. If somebody were to tell me that this was made by a professional seasoned filmmaker with a decent sized budget, I wouldn't believe you. But it definitely seems like a personal project when you find out that all of the cast have the same surname. It certainly seems like something that was created by an amateur filmmaker and their family. And if that's the case, it's actually pretty decent. And we have a really sweet message. It's not the most engaging narrative, but it's also not the longest film either. It's just short of an hour. And I actually think the length was pretty perfect. I'm somebody who hates it when films are way longer than they need to be and filmmakers think they need to add so much padding because the film needs to be tremendously long. That's not what we have here. And I actually really appreciate that. And the acting, I will talk about the narrative in a moment, but the acting is okay. It's not bad. And the dog is absolutely adorable. The Christmas Doodle is about a golden doodle. And this golden doodle brings together two people or two families. We have our protagonist, Hazel, played by Ashley Hayes Wright, who also wrote and directed this. And we have a single father and his young daughter. And we definitely get some emotion with their characters. And I don't want to give away too much about what happens, but something happens with the golden doodle that brings them together around the time of Christmas, of course. And there are definitely moments that tug at the heartstrings. It's maybe not the most overly emotional film, by which I mean I didn't cry. And I cry pretty easily at films, but it didn't get to me. But there is definitely a nice level of emotion there. The golden doodle is absolutely adorable. The characters are pretty well written. They're not the most fascinating characters ever, but I felt like their stories, their situations, I felt like it was all very believable. And in terms of the actual technical aspects, the camera work was fine. The music was too loud. Not all of the way through, but there were definitely scenes where the music was overpowering the dialogue and that needed to be toned down. But the music itself is nice. The music fits in with the scene. And I say this because there are many films where the music is far too loud and the music is just really ugly. But that's not the case here. The music's actually quite pleasing. They just need to turn it down a little bit or turn the dialogue up a little bit. But it's not the entire film. It's just a few scenes here and there. We have some really gorgeous wintry scenes. Definitely has strong Christmas vibes, so it ticks those boxes as well. I didn't mind it. It definitely got off to a slow start. But I'd say after maybe about 20 minutes or so, I was really starting to lean into it. I was starting to get to know the characters more and understand where we were going with the narrative. And I think everything was woven together quite nicely. So no, it's not the most professional big budget film out there. But if you're in the mood for something that's relaxing, easy to watch, apart from the few moments where I had to strain to hear the dialogue with some okay performances and a gorgeous dog, then it's not too bad. It's not going to appeal to everybody, depending on what I'm in the mood for. It might not work for me on every occasion. But watching it now, I didn't mind it. I wouldn't watch it again. But if it sounds like something that might work for you, then I'd say The Christmas Doodle might be worth watching as a one-time watch.